Let's take a look at command line concepts. Anchor characters in grep regular expressions. Let's begin by taking a look again at the grep man page. In addition to showing the usage for grep by specifying how to call the command, as well as the flags that can be provided to grep, the grep man page, when we scroll down, has an entire section devoted to documenting the syntax for regular expressions to be used in grep searches. We previously saw that the period character serves as a wildcard, matching any single character within a line of text. We're now going to look at the syntax for anchors. The caret and dollar sign are meta characters. These meta characters are used in regular expressions as anchors. They specify the location at which a match is to occur. The caret character is used to match the beginning of a pattern, and makes a match only if the pattern is found at the beginning of the line. The dollar sign is similarly used to match at the end of a pattern. It matches only if the regular expression is found at the end of the line. Anchors only affect the immediately adjacent element in the regular expression. That is, the caret only affects the immediately following element, and the dollar sign only affects the immediately preceding element. Let's try using anchor characters in regular expressions to observe this in action. We will use a text file that contains alphabetically sorted words. Each word is one line of text. This command, grep, caret, un, user share dict words, matches any line of the text in the file if that line of text begins with the characters U, N in that order. Let's try another command. The command we used now was grep u n dollar user share dict words. This command matches only those lines of text in the specified file that end with the characters u n. Anchor characters, anchor characters can also be used together. Here, we are specifying that we are searching for a string that begins with a, n, and also ends with a, n. In other words, a line of text consisting only of a, n. 
the anchor characters can also be used in conjunction with the wildcard character. Here, we are searching through user share dict words. For any lines of text containing exactly one, two, three, four, five, six characters, where the second character is A and the fourth character is R. We are specifying that we don't care what the first character is, we don't care what the third character is, we don't care what the fifth character is, and we don't care what the sixth character is. And we get the resulting list of words matching this pattern.